is and welcome back to another video everybody you ever feeling like the creativity is just down and out don't even feel like going to shoot i got something for you it might get you off the couch get out there and try this simple exercise utilizing the rgb channels in post after you've taken a few images so here's how it goes it's best if you shoot this photography with your camera on a tripod and then take three consecutive shots. And today I'm leaving my camera just like this. Shutter speed of 1 over 125 and then ISO is 100 and then I'm shooting at F8 all day. All the shots I'm taking today, just doing that. You just find a subject and preferably that the subject is moving left to right at you, up and down in some way, shape or form so you get three different shots. For cars, I found that 1 25th of a second on burst and I get nice evenly spaced out shots. And for people walking, I take six shots, seven, eight, and take every other one. So then there's some spacing between them. The idea is to take these images and put them back in the computer and edit them based on the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel. This is called the Harris shutter effect. It was created by Robert. Harris, also known as Bob. So good old Bob created this many moons ago. He worked at Kodak and essentially what he used was a slider with the red, the green, and the yellow channels on a slider and as you shot images it would slide through the front of the camera. You can also use filters if you wanted to. More than likely you have to stage the images so you might have a person stand in the middle. You have the red channel. Boom! You shoot it. Take off that gel or that filter and put it on a different one such as the green one have the person move to the left and then boom shoot that one and then obviously finish with the blue have the person move either further left or all the way to the other side and any kind of pose you want and then you have three different images with the three different filters you could do it that way i'm going to show you how to use the harris shutter effect by bringing these images into lightroom and then bringing them in as layers in photoshop cool let's get some more shots i've got a few already check these out Let's take a few more shots. I've taken a few already. I'm just sitting at my favorite spot here in downtown Fullerton and just taking mostly cars. I've tried to get some pretty cool shots of some bicyclists, but that hasn't really turned out. So take a few more images and then I'm gonna head back to the studio and we'll put these into Lightroom and Photoshop and do all that fun stuff. Yeah. All right, friends, we are back in the Lightroom and I wanna apologize for the sound. It sucked. It sucked. I, no excuses. I just sucked. I, I suck. Okay, we're back. Let's get into this tutorial, the Harris shutter effect. First thing that you have to do is go ahead and get the images that you want into Lightroom. I select three because of the RGB factor, but you can obviously do more and double up on the different uh, panels or colors within the RGB spectrum. So I've elected to go with this beautiful red 1950s Chevy could be a Bel Air. I'm not really good with cars, but it's a hot, hot car. And I like it, and I like, it came actually, it was in one of my older shots. It was in one of my older shots as it panned from right to left and through the intersection, but it looped around. I love that it was making a left in front of me so I could capture it a little bit slower and get kind of that turning aspect or profile of the vehicle. So these are the three shots that I have. I have them in Lightroom. I have them selected down below. So now what I wanna do is go up to photo, edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And just like that, we are ready to go. We have all three shots here in the right hand bottom corner. I'm gonna turn off the bottom two layers and I'm gonna go with this first layer, which is the first part of the turn. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna to go to blending options. Now there's many other ways to do this, but I found that this was the simplest just to get that RGB feel. So here you see the channels, red, green, and blue. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off red, or sorry, green and blue and click okay. Now I'm going to go to the next one and turn off the first one. Yeah, actually, let me go back. You can kind of see what's happening there. Pretty cool effect already. If you just wanted to stop and say, boom, that's what you wanted. I think it looks pretty cool already. So I'm gonna turn off the first layer, go to the second one, do the same thing, select it, and right click and go to blending options. This time I'm gonna turn off the red and the blue and leave the green and click okay. Let me turn on the other one. That's what we're looking at right now. So we have red and green done. 
I'm gonna click the last one and unselect the first two layers and do the same thing. I'm gonna select it, right click, go to blending options. I'm gonna turn off red and the green channel and now we've got the blue channel. Let's go ahead and turn them all back on right away. Boom, there you go. The Harris shutter effect. That simple. Of course, you can do many, many more things with this. Actually, let me take a quick second to scroll through a Google search for the Harris shutter effect or the RGB effect. And you're gonna see that there's lots of different ways that people have utilized this effect or Harris shutter. So you've got options out there. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go up to File and click Save, and then head back to Lightroom. And in Lightroom, you'll see the final image, which you can now, if you want to, play a little bit with the exposure, bring it up, bring it down. I'm gonna leave it back, essentially go back where it was. Uh, contrast, you can bring it up, pull it down a little bit. Highlights, you can bring up, up bring them back down shadows you can see just you can just play around to see what's happening with the colors um the whites a little bit higher i'm going to bring down the blacks a little bit i love the texture slider but let's not go crazy a little bit on clarity a little bump on dehaze i like vibrance here with the harris shutter effect if you look let me go all the way to the left let me go all the way to the right some beautiful things happening there right I don't want to go crazy all the way to the right, but I'm going to bump it back just a little bit. Like it right about there. Yeah. Beaut. Saturation. Have fun. Look, all the way to the left, obviously you're going to have a black and white image, and you saturate it all the way into the reds. You're just going to have probably a little bit of an oversaturated image, but it's okay. This is the Harris shutter effect. You're just trying to get that creativity back. It allows you to play a little bit more with an image that you might not necessarily do with your regular editing process. So uh, I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit and I'm pretty happy with that. Hope that was quick, hope that was easy, hope that was entertaining. I highly recommend that you go out and try the Harris shutter effect. You can do it in the backyard with your cat, your dog. Just make sure you use a tripod or keep your camera as still as possible on something that'll allow you to take the same scene but having movement within the scene so you can get the color values of the reds, the greens, and the blues and get those rainbow type colors in your final image. All right, that's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. At this point, I am sitting on 499 subscribers. I'm so blessed. It's such a cool goal to get to 500 and hopefully I blow through that. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. Until the next one, peace and edit them and edit it them. This is Jimmy Jam. We're recording this Jimmy Jam. Uh, what would you call it? Um...